Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a great day, because I know I am, because I took up Hulkbuster to rank 2 yesterday, and I had a ton of tech ISO, so I didn't need to dip into too much of other classes. I'm very surprised at how much tech ISO I actually had and used. But today, I've got... This is going to be my longest video, let's put it that way. Longest video by about 5 minutes. Uh, yeah, no. Hulkbuster, I do really enjoy playing him, so I was thinking about taking, waiting to take him up until after 4th of July, just in case there are some deals I want to look at and maybe purchase, and who knows, maybe I would get someone I want to rank up, but then I remembered my last two six stars were Hulkbuster Dupe, and I think it was Sorcerer Supreme. And then my five stars were trash. So I laughed at myself about thinking uh, I was going to get something good. So took up Hulkbuster, got rid of all my tier 2 alpha, which is a little sad. But I'll get it back sometime later. So first up, we have the punching bag of MCOC Winter Soldier. And I love beating up Winter Soldier with new champs, because everybody does. And I do have a uh, War Machine pre-fight on, just gives, uh, ignore that, 15% attack and 20% duration on all debuffs except stuns. And this is also probably the second fastest kill of Winter Soldier I have on this channel. First is obviously going to go to CGR with the aptitude rotation, but I feel like I play Hulkbuster a little differently than others. I do uh, medium, light, 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 and then I wait just half a second, and then I throw my SP2 rather than doing like a full combo and then waiting, because I've found out found that that doesn't really work too much for me, but using the strategy I use, I've gotten it almost every time, but Hulkbuster just hits like a truck, man. Once once you get that first SB2, uh, oh, I just, that was dumb looking at myself, but, but once you get that first SB2 off, you basically have the fight locked down if you know what you're doing, <clears throat> what you're doing with Hulkbuster. Next up here we have one of two X6 bosses that I decided to just bring Hulkbuster along and solo. This is not a clean solo, I'll tell you that. This is not clean at all. Uh, and you'll see why in a couple seconds here, but Saber Dude doesn't have anything too bad on him, it's just that healing little annoying and you see I tried to go for a backdraft intercept but I got intercepted myself and he has that 300 300 attack fury on him and uh, yeah I got clapped a little but I got lucky here and I did push him to an sp3 but he did block when I threw my sp2 so he just got absolutely power drained and he's back at basically no bars of power but you know, the biggest thing I don't like on this Sabertooth is just there's that no retreat in global node and I'm not used to being able to degen when I dash back twice. Once again we got that SP2 chain going and we're just going in with those heavy attacks except right here I think I was a little too slow on the heavy and he just used a light and intercepted me in my heavy attack and I'm down to 32%. But no worries, I'll, I do come back, and if I did need it, I do have that failsafe of the regen, because my Hulkbuster is awakened from the last 6-star crystal, which I'm pretty dang happy about, I'm not gonna lie, because it comes in very handy, and I'm looking at this footage and I'm getting scared myself, because when I was throwing those heavy attacks, it looked like he was gonna do what he did a couple seconds ago and just intercept me but fight's basically over just 
quite a few more heavy attacks because that regen is a little thicker than I like. But and yeah, no, I do do actually trigger the, my regen here, but the fight's basically over, so it doesn't really matter. But it is nice to have just in case. Now here we got 6.1.3 Ghost, and this is this is just a fun fest for Hulkbuster, because once you get that first SP2 off, you have that armor break on her, and you can't she can't phase, and it just makes life so much easier. But she can phase at the moment, so if she d dashes back like she did just there, she'll shrug off the shock, and uh, she'll get that fury. But, I did apply a uh, Purify War Machine pre-fight and the attack pre-fight. In hindsight, there was no point to put on the Purify pre-fight just because I was gonna, it was gonna purify the long distance relationship weaknesses. But here we go, first SP2 and bam. She's locked down for the rest of the fight now that she's got that armor break on her and it will never fall off if I remember right. But, you know, I'm not parrying too much. I didn't parry too much at the start just because of uh, limber. She's got 20% limber, so not exactly a fun time if I do parry a lot. But I'm not really caring about weaknesses here. I do think I will back up and fall off after I throw that last heavy attack because I got six weaknesses on me, and that's not going to do any damage to her. So, back in off here, stopped. If you play aggressive enough, usually you won't have uh, to worry about the long distance relationship. But right here, I just go for it. I got six weaknesses. And as you can see, I was just throwing heavies and I dropped one. I would have dropped more of them, but end of the fight. Now we got Cavi Q, and boy, was this fun. Hulk bust. So this EQ has where you place a shock on the opponent and you get that 35% fury. And Hulkbuster has that shock on his heavy. So you can just stack him really, really quick. And as soon as you get him going with those furies, it's just game over for the opponent. I did take the heal and hide pass with the passive heal block path just because it's not that hard to do do the only annoying fight here on this path is a long shot and I played terribly in that fight but you can't really throw your sp2 in that fight since he'll nullify the unblockable but here we go as you can see placed a shock and I got the fury only annoying part here is he's, he's gonna gain furies every time I parry because he's got that auto masher during the stun but as you can see, I backed up and I got the regen, but I'm passively heal blocked, so I don't get anything out of it. A little sad, but nice to be topped off, but it doesn't really matter. As soon as we get to this SP2 and we throw it off, it, it's game over. Watch the game. One, two, three, four. 69k heavy attack. What a way to end that fight. 69k heavy attack next fight here though we got a winter soldier and this is just Roma legends testing dummy on a different quest with half his health but this fight goes pretty quick too i'm i love how easy it is just to nuke fights down with hulkbuster in the cavi queue obviously a little longer in normal quests, but either way, I do have a full team built around Hulkbuster. And I will just be doing the path, and I won't do it the boss, because boss first couple of times I did try to go for the boss kill, but it was not pretty. Not first test, um, I, I might do a blooper just to show you that one fight at the end, but. Probably not, but Hulkbuster's heavy attack just does so much damage when he's got those furies. It's just awesome to see. But next up, Red Hulk. A little more on the annoying side just because he's got that energy damage. 
and uh, when I throw the SP2, it'll get up to his 10 heat charges, but I'll take just a little bit more block damage and fight will go down just the same way. But just parry medium heavy with Hulkbuster, build up those shocks and furies. Just awesome to see. And I do counter uh, Red Hulk's SP1 when he throws it off just because it's another easy shock and fury. Here we go. We're getting close to the SP2 here and we throw it off. 35k crit on the beam and 11k energy damage from the oh 53k heavy attack but 11k from the power drain that was pretty nice and you'll see here we go here's this long shots not not at all my cleanest fight probably the least clean fight i've ever had with hulkbuster just because i had to play it differently since i can't throw the sp2 into his block because the unblockable pass unblockable buff will get nullified so I do just try to build up my shocks here and just try to uh, get to the SP3. We'll I can counter his heavy, and I do spend way too much time trying to bait these SP1s. I spend way too much time trying to do that. But as you can see, he got an unblockable passive. That's because I didn't have a shock on him when he threw the SP-1, and I thought the unblockable was going to go away there, but it didn't, so I tried to parry, and I completely missed, and I threw a heavy attack out of nowhere, and it connected, and I also got clipped by this SP-1, but it doesn't do too much, and I had a shock on him that time, so he couldn't uh, go unblockable, but we got six furies here, Getting close to our SP3, as soon as we get, get to it, we'll just throw it off, and I'm not on my game during this fight. Let's see, I'm 38% now. Just get to the SP3, throw it off. Big damage, big damage from that. I did 90,000 damage, and I get an unblockable buff after the SP3. Which is nice, so I can just go in and finish the fight. Up next, we have a Professor X, which actually wasn't too bad of a fight. I'm surprised it didn't go worse. I will just pop a 5k health potion in him, though, just as a safety precaution. The only really annoying things about fighting Professor X is um, his falter, and you can't parry his uh, most of his attacks. It's only the first medium, I'm pretty sure, is the only attack that you can uh, parry. But <clears throat> had to sneeze there. But that's really the only thing annoying about Professor X. Just as soon as you get out of the figure out how to play him with that falter timer you're just chilling but I usually just I that was the best repairing I've ever done I, but like I was saying I usually just try to wait until his falter timer is just a couple seconds off and then I just go in with light attack after I parry him or he throws a heavy and then that falter timer will start running, and then as soon as it's done, I just go back in and fight him, fight him normally. But next up, we have a Luke Cage, and he, I think he has different nodes. Um, I think he's got unblock, um, indestructible. When I got an SP2, that just means more time to build up the shocks, so SP2 hits harder. Yeah, it's feet of, feet of indestructible too, that's what it's called. But, 
Once again, super simple fight with Hulkbuster. Build up the shocks, get more damage, end of the fight. That's how it is with Hulkbuster. I do really enjoy playing Hulkbuster more than I thought I would, honestly, when I first got him. I wasn't too happy, I won't lie, that I got Hulkbuster. I mean, I knew it was a good champ, but there was that guillotine 2099 before him. And I really, really wanted her, because she was just such an awesome champ for uh, Labyrinth of Legends. And I, back then, I was contemplating just going for 100%, um, and that single SP2 from Hulkbuster just nuked Luke Cage down. But now we have, to finish it all off, Labyrinth of Legends Star Lord. I got Purify War Machine pre fights and the attack pre fight, plus the WAGS uh, passive stun pre fight. And this is a little longer fight, but I did have to record this uh, again. And this was the second fight. Nearly soloed uh, Star Lord on the first fight, but I just got clipped and he just nuked me down. But it's just simple, straightforward fight. Just parry heavy, parry medium heavy, bait specials. I don't think he evaded me, actually, during this fight. I'm not sure, but I think he, there are times where he dodged my attacks, but I don't think he evaded me at all, which was really nice. Just, well, that's all I gotta say for this video. If you love seeing Hulkbuster kick butt and landing, thick crits in this heavies maybe drop a like or a comment and hope you have a great day